Jamaica. How can you feel it? Okay, I don't, see. my love. We can't see it, <laughs> but we can. We can't to higher levels because it's Wednesday today, guys. Right? Yes. 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 Oh my God. Oh yeah, welcome back. <laughs> thank you, thank you. It's there been you long, go. guys. Good it's been back. long. Show me the love. Show me the love. Welcome to Work You Wednesday. This is Excel Live. We'll be with you right to the hour of five. Mm -hmm. The powerhouse is in the building. The house of fun. I think I'm going to eat. I saw the action fashion My name is Lama, ladies and gentlemen. I am so grateful to be here to keep you company. Of course, man. Like you said, it's a wacky Wednesday, and we're also bringing you the science edition of Excess. So make sure you stick around. Kanal yo maya, opa ya oma ya oma. So nechi for amal sefale. We're serving the best dish of entertainment right here on your favorite youth show. The name of the show is Excess. Oh yes, man. As Zara has said, we're serving the best of youth entertainment right here on channel 263 Kamake aka Mr. Hype It Up and on today's show we have two special guests and they are and they're both archaeologists actually Benjamin Murray and Smangali Makalima pardon me so make sure you do stay tuned to find out more about them I can evict action go out on the most and welcome to and do not forget to get hold of us on social media on Facebook we are XA on Cape Town TV Twitter um XA underscore live you can call us on zero two one two two Lies. Lies. <laughs> two, two, lies. Yeah. Zero four four eight. Uh. Yeah. And what more can I say? These gentlemen have said everything that they needed to say for today. And please do not go anywhere. We have a, a jam, jam, jam back for you. It's Wednesday. If you're a scientist, a, a miniature one, you know, give your ears, your eyes, your nose, your mouth. Alice your everything, Alice yes. 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 Speaking today. of smaller than a scientist, mm. um, later on the show, we're going to have um, a science quiz yes. for kids. Yes. But we don't have kids in the building. We've we got grown-ups. So let's Grown see ups how they're going to fare. Let's see how they're going to fare. Like, I'm going to ask them grade one questions. Yes. Oh, I no. hope they do not embarrass themselves. I, wow. <laughs> Hashtag like is... Like I, it was never meant to be. It was never meant I'm to be. I'm very excited to read all those tweets oh, and find out about it. Yes. Hashtag it was never meant to be. It makes me think of history, hey guys, all the way. And when I, hear, when I hear that uh, hashtag, actually, I think of all my exes. It's just... Oh, oh. oh. Okay, 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 okay. I'm going to do this exit was meant to be. And let's quickly run to side tech news. Yes. Because yes. that's also meant to be. Let's go. Yes. That's just we'll right back. <laughs> Masina Mkele kuti yesika yendaba ezingenzulu lwazi nobuchwepesha. Ijuniversiti yasepitoli yenze imbali ngokuba ithule ngokusesikweni isikhululo sokuqala semozulu esisemthethweni apha emzansi Afrika. Abajongene nemozulu yakweli basebenze kunye nale Ijuniversiti kuveza esisikhululo esizezingeni eliphezulu kakhulu. Esilindeleke ukuba sikhuphe izilunkiso ezinobungozi nesijolise kubafundi bale campus nakube emibeni ngokubanzi. Lemozuli is a bonus of Koma Bona Good, a bagle campus, a proper food, the Bazo Quas, the Guzzi Bonella Michale, a dirty bed, John, a Koma Bona Good, Isimo Sezulu. Each university, killing the Leke Okuba, is a schoolless in that they can't say the Lula is a coin with the Midlalo, in Pilos Abandus, the Sindis of Perez or Libano, Nesa Kukula is no Guerra. Ogutula, Gusasequen, the Quest is a Kulula, Guzzi Sovu, Yoko Bando, a water tank like Faber, a Quanzeli Lom Sebens, Ube Pumalel. Abafundi bazibonele ngeliso lenyama imbali senzeka phambi kwabo ibambela mphathi legqiza elijongene nemozulu kweli umnumzana mnikele indabambi uthe ukuqegeza kwemibano nokubhudla kwemimoya emandla kungenzeka nanini na kodwa ukusebenzisana nesi sikhululo kuyakwenza umsebenzi lula yaye bazi nexesha elichanekileyo lokugqegeza nokubhudla kwale mimoya khona ukuze abemibeni baze lungiselele ukuze bangachaphazeleki kwimozulu enobuzaza ukuhlolwa kwezifo ezinqabileyo ehlabathini jikelele ngoku ziza kuba nako ukuba zihlolwe nokeli lomzansi Afrika umbulelo kwinkampani isa North Jensim ezinze kulizwe lasemelika isebenzisana ne Center for Human Metabolics engaphansi kwe University ya Semhlanjona kweli as in companies, the Sungule long bonos are Guvumela, Illina Sosomal Storage Disorders, ELSDs, Gamafushane, Ukuba Zenzi, where Mzans Africa, Koku Kalana, ELSDs, the Kuka Inga gives them food, where Gamashumi Matlanu, as it is the Fumanek and get a sham to an ekule Lungunina, as in Nagas, yes, the Bangu no Bangela, Okupupa, Gosan and get a sham in a sakulewe. Okanye nge tuba umama ebeleka. Okanye atu mtu wana azalwe na malungu wanga sebenzi ngeendele kufaneleke ukuba sebenzi ngao. 
Intoko yo ukweha kuinka mpani isa nofi chenzimu Ukweha rashe motila alite Ibi soloko kukweli kweli mgeene kutole ni ono bangela bezi ngagi Njengo oko beku ngongo pelezi kubo zo kutola Beku nyanzeleka ukuba onu kubo lwezi wila paretriz za kumazwe Ase Europe, okanyo ya se melika Ndo leyo ibi tata ukufikele la kuivike za sipozo ukuze kufumaneke izi pumo Kulu vuyo no tulu mpa ndo kusebezi sana na lenka mpani ya semelika Njengoko ina mava ye minyaka ifikelela kumashumi ya matatu Ekwenzi ni ucholo no tindela inga ikizi mfuzo Kwezi fundo ezi sunguli weyo na kupando lenzi wee Kenya Lubona kali isa ukuba ino kelela ya matambo ibikate esi zizeka bani Ye simba kumbwa kutoka Afrika Oko kuteta kuba ingo nyama inkulu ngelu imilo si swahili Olise mte tweni ye Kenya Upando lubona kali isa ukuba lengo kelela ya matambo wa lengo nyama Ine minyaka ifike lela kumashuma mabina nesbine zikiti La matambo ebe tunue kui mjuzi ya mielizo la se Kenya Abe enga tatelua nga lelote ika ela labapandi no utwe khabeki university I ohio edli kuka utwe kha Nancy Stevens no utwe kha Matthew Nzipoz Ba wavu mbulula Ileko zese sifundo kunye no pando Mili klasu yongo kwezi mali Hit the Explorer Club Ikumkula ba pandi Lake University Ase Kenya i Ohio Ne National Geographic Society Ukubalula ye Zimbalwa Ukufunyano akunye ne mpumelelo Yolu pando Libona kali isa uguzi misela Na kusebenza nzima kwa ba pandi Yae ikutaze otu ikabenza upando Ulu mila kunje Abasa kula ya uba kubekeke Na kukulisa iza kono zabo Zoku sungula upando Kukanga hako ebe sinako kutisika ye ndaba zenzu luluazi na butwepesha na mklanje Te kubegu ulo si tatu ozayo kamna andi Well that was a very insightful information and thick news clip that we just saw right now But let me give you a little bit something else So on the 22nd of April more than 190 countries celebrated the 49th Earth Day. And you know, Earth Day is supposed to be something that is, you know, growth and health and just everything beautiful. But let me give you a little bit more about uh, Earth Day and how you can actually uh, keep it enhanced. So number one, cut down on disposable plants. Number two, plant the tree. We all have oxygen, people. We have to think about the future. There's going to be my children and your children, our children, must all be on this planet you know one day soon and then replace your light bulbs you know the old ones it takes too much too much of the the the, um, the, 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 the electricity so we want new new electricity and and powered power up our houses and then number four guys um, so there's a carpool or uh, a lift club so if you, if you have a car and you want to put you know opa and uncle and sister and so and so and so put them somewhere all in the car and you go together some their booster and, and so amptus yeah guys anyway thank you so much and uh, we will go now to an ad break. Yes, man, welcome back to XC, the biggest thing on your TV screens right about now, taking you all the way till 5 p.m. Remember the hashtag that we are using today is hashtag it was never meant to be and we want to know from you what has never meant to be in your life. Let us know on all our social media platforms on Facebook we're on Cape Town TV and on Twitter we're at XC underscore live. Let's read the first one coming from at Prayer Skosana who says hashtag it was never meant to be that I remained uneducated. I graduated. Hooray! Congratulations to you. It's good graduate to Stanje. Another one coming from Pindile says I have a degree in marketing communications and yet I'm still unemployed which then makes me wonder why we go to university hmm hashtag it was never meant to be well sometimes things are not meant to be you know I ate all my vitamins and my vegetables I didn't grow <laughs> never meant to be one more coming from um, Demba Ray Poldash who says after she blue ticked my high that's when I knew it was never meant to be she says I thought I was gonna die poor without reaching my potential my book hashtag drowning in own tears is 190 copies away from national best-selling badge ah uh, that's so close but we hope that it will be eventually for you something that is meant to be is on the yellow couches and we are finding out everything about archaeology with Sia and Awonke yeah well yes we thought that is correct I'm Kelly Gilewa Konan Kuboye to Tom Z to Emma Kai you are still tuned into XA right here on channel 263 
And right about now on the yellow couches, we are chilling with Benjamin Murray and Usmangalis Makalima. Benjamin actually has a, a master's in P a master's degree. I'm yes. correct. I'm wrong. Get it together. Yes. Yeah. In uh, UNISA, actually, in, in archaeology, in the archaeology department, and Usmangali Sonayeke, who masters of the AUCT, and the a PhD at in, in the archaeology department, right? Yes, I'm sorry. But gentlemen, welcome to the show. Thank you for having us. Shu, I think the first thing that we all want to know, we're busy speaking about mm. so much, and the work that you guys have done. What is archaeology, Benjamin? Uh, well, archaeology is the study human. of, of yeah. human uh, humans. Uh, in the past, um, and we look at both material culture and um, and the, the things that they left, leave behind. Uh, we study st study humans as well. Um, so um, s occasionally you come across graves and stuff, yeah. uh, and you have to study the people uh, in in a fr in a friend yeah in, in, in almost a, a forensic. Um, Environment. Environment, oh, yeah. yeah. Is but this, it's all. Um, mm. Is this similar to the Cradle of Humankind? So maybe, you know, uh, there's a site scene like Cradle of Humankind, and then they ask archaeologists such as you guys to go in there and excavate and see what is left in there. Um, and, but then do you guys actually do the dating of the skulls and. Well, that's, that's left to the scientists. Uh, okay. I mean, we, we are scientists ourselves, but. Mm. Um, so, what type yeah. of science do you guys then do? Uh, specifically, is, is it literally the digging up and you know keeping the what you guys have dug up? What exactly um, do you guys do in archaeology? Well, I'm based at uh, uh, at the museum, so mm. I'm I'm very much involved with the, the collections that, that, okay. are, that are housed at the uh, at the museum, mm. um, and yeah, we've been doing a huge digitization uh, drive for, over the last couple of years. Um, so, yeah, on a day-to-day -day basis, I'm working in the collection, uh, putting things on spreadsheets. So you keep the skulls. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, it's, 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 it's more the stuff that's left behind. So it's, oh, yeah. uh, there's a huge amount of shell uh, bone that archaeologists dig up and bring to the museum to be reposited there. Mm. Um, and um, then there's all the stone tools, and Smanga can uh, enlighten you about stone mm, tools yeah. because that's all his his research is mm. is, is on, on on stone tools. Yes. Yeah. Actually, Smanga, I was just about to ask. Yeah. Actually, so he speaks. Skull, Benjamin yeah. speaks a lot about like human skulls and all these things. And I'm like, yeah. it's, it, it sounds Grace. gruesome, great. It sounds Have gruesome. Who gets to study archaeology, or rather, why did you study archaeology? And tell us more about your research. Oh, okay. So, um, like, firstly, thank you guys for the, the warm welcome. Pleasure. Um, so, archaeology, like the question you were touching on earlier, like it's, um, like with any field, like the specializations and things like that. So, and then it's like an interdisciplinary study as well. Mm -hmm. So, it has, um, so people that will do the dating will be chemists or geologists. But back to um, what you were asking me, so anyone can study archaeology, you, me, or, but mostly it's people that have some sort of interest in um, human history. Mm. And I studied archaeology because through the conversations that I was having with my mom, who teaches life science, so my interest mm. in science sort of started like that. What, mm, what I'm understanding is that, I mean, under archaeology, there's different types of things you get to do in archaeology, yes, am I right? Yes, Okay, yes. so can you please take us through, on a typical day, what do you do, um, uh, Spangalis? Okay, so um, it, it firstly depends on the actual day. It's is it a Friday, is it Monday? But like um, a typical work day, um, like involve ranges from anything from like um, admin, um, preparing for presentations, writing grants, writing reports, and the actual analysis in the lab or meetings and um, also and it all, like traveling from time to time going to different places interacting with different people but then need you guys get to actually dig up and hey I, that and the exciting, exciting. <laughs> <laughs> the whole digging up and finding all these things well i've just come back from two and a half weeks in the field um mm. on on the site that i'm i'm doing my research on um, and that's a historical site uh, mid mid 18th century, uh, 19th century, 19th century. Um, uh, in the Eastern Cape. Um, okay. Yeah, and so I'm looking at how sp space is utilized within the structure that I'm excavating, mm. um, and uh, yeah, I'm finding some interesting things. So okay. yeah, sure, I was about to ask how that is going. It must be very tough, but you're finding it like um, 
It's 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 very uh, it's it is fruitful. Mm. I mean, a whole lot of questions pop up as you're excavating that you you didn't think of yeah, while you're you curious were, and you want to know more. Mm. While you because you have to have a uh, a plan to go in and you say okay we'll we'll excavate this area but then you do something called shovel test pits or or, or something like that um, that just open little pockets uh, into into the area. Um, and there may be cultural material, there may not be, but mm. um, yeah, it, it, it opens a lens into, in, into the, uh, below the surface um, and then you can make decisions whether you pursue that square or, or, mm. or, or you look at another I'm, I another must area. say it's a very interesting like, um, career, mm. career archaeology that is. Yeah. Yeah. I actually want to know what type of character or personality must you have for someone who is wishing to ever pursue this career mm. you know um must i be good in maths okay. <laughs> um, i always have to count because that you can miss me um do i have to be good you know do i have to be well built uh, mm. from the body up for me to be able to yeah, dig up those skulls so <laughs> what type of personality must you have in order to be able to pursue so like to just answer the thing like shortly because the, the spe specializations arrange so much mm. and there's so many things you can do so it you won't really have a prototype that will fit everything so i would okay. still say again it's it just depends on what you want to focus on and whether or not you're built for that type of whatever it is so mm. like and then the the one thing that sort of is key oh yeah it's key amongst people is that you need some sort of patience mm. so like someone who's working in the lab all day analyzing certain things through a computer program would need different personality traits to someone who needs to be in the sun for like 10 to like 12 hours and as compared to someone else who has to work with let's say kids and educators mm. so the personality traits actually arrange and that's what actually also makes it interesting that it's not and yeah. then in the trick what subjects must i take mm. so uh, you do well i think uh, an interest in history is very important mm -hmm. um but you can also take geography biology because there are v various avenues that you can pursue, whether it's fauna analysis or um, or stone tools. Fauna or analysis. Fa fauna, as in oh. as in oh. looking at the bones, so oh, of, of okay. extinct animals. So okay. things like the, we've got Pelerovus, which is the ancient buffalo um, that roamed um, on the, in Africa. Um, mm many years ago um, and so we've got those sort of big mammal bones mm. in, so in our collection. So history, um, oh, science, biology, uh, biology, uh, biology, 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 yes, yeah. Okay. All those horrible subjects, I don't know. <laughs> I did none on of way. them. But like, I'm also curious, you know, I'm sorry, I'm so Benjamin, if I'm not mistaken, you started off working as an as a intern, right? Yes. And then like your data, you did data capturing at some point. I want to know, Smangali, so what, because as we've been speaking, there's like, it seems like they're wide possibilities, endless possibilities yeah. within the archaeology um, career. So what possibilities are there to find a job and mm. yeah. So like right now in South Africa and the world in general, it's a, it's a tricky time economically for everyone. Mm. Like there's, there's a very few professions that have the stability and whatnot. But so now in archaeology, so there's the typical ones where you can either be in academia, so that's like research. Uh, you have to do your masters, your PhD, and mm. your postdocs, like a lot of studying. Or you can be in museum spaces. Similar Sounds to like a lot, but we're gonna keep yeah. you guys. Yeah. We're gonna stick around for more because we're really interested to find out more about yeah. this topic, yeah. right, Sia? Yes. But run about, but run about now. We're gonna check out an insert on the Iziko exhibition. We'll be right back. You are still tuned into XA. <laughs> have a chat with renowned documentary filmmaker Craig Foster as well as Petra Keen, the curator at the Institute for Human Evolution at the University of Advartisrand. Let's go take a look. Today it's not called tattoo anymore, it's called body art. And uh, Roxana, she, she, after, afterwards, if you ask her nicely, she'll show you her body art. <laughs> And right about now, we are standing with Craig Foster, who is part of the curatorship of this exhibition and the filmmaking behind it. You have been making the film to showcase this exhibition and show us what history went down. How was the process of making it? Uh, it's been a, quite a long process, I think five years now, mm -hmm. and a great uh, privilege working with uh, Professor Chris Henshelwood, who's become a great friend and my mentor. Uh, and we've got a great, you know, incredible scientific team. Um, but I guess the, the power of this is realizing the emotion behind 
um, the fact that Africa is the home of everyone on, on this planet. And then to realize just in South Africa, just up the coast here, uh, this scientific team has really found the oldest art on earth, the oldest chemistry, uh, and some of the oldest jewelry. So it's this, you know, this idea that um, all this started in Europe uh, has been completely turned over. And to realize that South Africa uh, and Southern Africa is the origin of art, of consciousness, is quite an incredible thing. It's, it, 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 it just lifts our African pride and our pride in South Africa and these incredible ancestors who have given us these gifts. Um, so I think this is so exciting because it's got this potential to spark African pride um, in a very, very special way. And you, as a filmmaker, um, and you, when you feel that emotionally, it's, it just drives the passion. And that's, this has been a huge passion project for me. Uh, and I've worked on it for many years and will continue to do so. So it's uh, yeah, something very special. Process. And then in terms of when you were making the film, how easy or difficult was it to sort of replicate exactly to the screens and for us viewers at home to see it, exactly how it happened, how you discovered sort of what happened in history? So what I'm using, I'm obviously using all the information that's coming out of the archaeology and trying to use as much of that as possible to imagine what it was like, life was like a hundred thousand years ago on this coast. How was the experience? It was a very rich experience for me. Um, I've worked with Craig Foster for the last three years on this exhibition, putting it together. And it's been wonderful working with Craig. He's an absolute creative genius and his photography is amazing. Um, we've worked on these incredible sites, Bombos Cave, Cliff Drift Shelter, Classy's River Mouth is Professor Sara Wurtz's site. Um, and we're trying to tell the story of where we all come from. Um, we are all one people and we originate from Africa. And the story is about us. So that's what we're telling here in this exhibition. And from the exhibition itself, what do you think is the most significant part of it? Or what would you like people to take when they leave? I think what's really significant is the fact that we're telling the story of modern humans and modern human behavior and when, when it started. Um, and that's always been a very intriguing question in our minds because it, te it tells us the story about us. Uh, what we have are these incredible archaeological sites, Bombos Cave, Clift of Shelter and, and Classy's River Mark. And to see the excavations when you're at the site and to see the scientists excavating um, and to see layer by layer these exciting artifacts that come out of the cave, it's extremely exciting. And then to bring that to the public, um, it's a very important aspect of archaeology because this is our heritage. You've seen the exhibition, how does it make you feel? I think it makes me feel fantastic. Mm -hmm because it shows, it shows something that all of us have in common and it gives us something, a touchstone, mm. to actually come here and say, okay, this is who I am. And how important is it for people to actually come and see and understand archaeology for what is being shown here? I think it's absolutely essential. If you want to understand yourself, I think you need to come here and to see what our ancestors made and how they lived and how they actually survived in this world. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then some of the things that you've seen around, what is the most significant that you, that you found out of here? I'm excavating Classes River, so for me that's really significant because it shows one of the earliest places where people like us lived and how they survived in the, in the ocean environment. And so they were able to hunt fish, collect shellfish, and, and on top of that make art, beads, all of those things. Yeah, so that really, to me, what's really important is the diversity of evidence here. Thank you so much. Sarah Ostalele Uba Okba, you need to still believe in human evolution because it is a real thing. Thank you so much. <laughs> shout out, shout out, Q, the Black Rose, for holding it down there at that insert, actually. Actually, interesting things were said um, all in that insert, and we're going to find out more when we refer to, to Reza and Amy in the blue couch. But right about now, I'm still going to read those tweets, and the hashtag of the day is hashtag it was never meant to be him, Das.
it is what it is. Um, the first one is from at Kohane Karabo. I'm hope, I hope I'm pronouncing that well. Hashtag it was never meant to be. Being turned down by the person you heard he or she had has a crush on you. Asking that so they ghosting you. But anyways, keep those tweets coming. But run about now. Let's refer to Riza and Amy. Take it away. Yes, man, you are still in time with us. Um, blue couches apparently. That's obviously you guys don't have a color TV at home. But listen, we're still talking to um, the archaeologists, and they're going to tell us more about what we're actually seeing at the Ezekiel Museum exhibition. Rather, um, I want to know from you. Do you think that it's an acceptable truth that we all kind of come from the same ancestors that resided in Africa between 50 and 120,000 years ago? Okay. Um, yes. To yes. Simply answer. So, and so they off my family in some type of way. Like yeah, it makes it very tricky. Okay. <laughs> but it's like that evidence is essentially just coming from genetics and um, uh, skeleton uh -huh. remains. So we can go in like, yeah, we don't have time to go in depth in that. Okay. But that is basically coming from that. It's not just someone's opinion. Okay, so there, there is actually truth in that. Yeah, and, and, and the dating techniques that uh, archaeologists use, they've progressively found younger and younger dates. Oh, okay. As, as, as uh, our uh, ancestors moved through Asia mm -hmm. and then across the land bridge um, into the Americas. So uh, the dates that are coming out of, mm -hmm. Adam, of America are about 15,000 years wow. ago. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So you both work, both working yeah. at the um, Ezekiel Museum. <coughs> what is the role or the link between archaeologists and the museums? Well, I think um, the museums are important spaces uh, for preserving our history. Mm -hmm. um, and, and, and the archaeology definitely um, is a space that looks at human ancestry yeah. um, and in terms of pre yeah, preserving that history, mm -hmm. I think it's very important mm -hmm. that archaeology is included in the museum space. Mm -hmm. I want to know, sorry, I just want to know from you guys, the, is it the Plombos Cave? Um, what, was, what was life for our ancestors like there? And I think it's close to the, is it still by here? So what was, what was life within V? Well, I think um, life was, at 100,000 years ago, was obviously a lot different from what it is now. But yeah. uh, it was a space for, for nurturing, I okay. think, because okay. it allowed people to start using cognitive behaviors yeah. Yeah. Um, and expressing symbolic uh, meaning of in, in terms of the Blombos Oka, for example. Um, and it's one of the earliest evidence of uh, chemistry uh -huh. uh, and, and, and people making paint. I can um, and, yeah. and I think that, that's very, very important. Yeah. 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 Okay, so this is a bit weird, yeah. but I'm going to ask anyway. Go. So if aliens had to come to Cape Town, for example, right? And um, you, we had to int you guys had to introduce them to the, the human culture. What would you say? I, I think what we're going to do is <laughs> Just, <laughs> we're going we're gonna to hold that question, okay, okay. we're going to hold that thought, okay. and we're actually going to give the viewers a chance to let us know their thoughts on the question Why? when no. you guys do answer. We're going to take a quick ad break. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Thank you. Um, and I hope that we have you back because I need to learn more. Stay tuned. This is where you redefine and redesign education, entertainment, and information just for you because you are so cool. You tuned in to Excel. The best decision that you've made today was tuning in. We're taking you right through to the hour of five, giving you the best of entertainment because we're hectic nine million times than anybody else on TV right now. Our hashtag is hashtag it was never meant to be the other TV show. No. Actually, here are the tweets. Um, this one comes <laughs> from T. who says, I thought getting my degree meant I was close to success, but hashtag it was never meant to be. Ndinani says, it's hard to accept that hashtag it was never meant to be, especially when you prayed so much about it. And then there's one for Toy Toy underscore May who says, I woke up today and my dog was dead. Mm. She started being sick yesterday. My heart 
is in shambles hashtag it was never meant to be and then this one is trying to be funny um who at amazulu hashtag it was never meant to be if you auditioned for xa and you didn't get it Hi. you anyways you? Um, you? director do i move closer to them or am i am i okay here oh what does he say do i stand here okay cool so you've got a clipboard you guys yes i promised you a quiz, a science quiz yeah. for kids. Okay. So this should be easy for you. We hope so. I won't get and are uh, team A and you guys are team B. I'm gonna give you multiple choice questions. Okay. You write down your question, answer. your answer, and then when I tell you to reveal, you reveal as okay. soon as you can. Your number one question is, if you mix all light colors, do you get black, white, or a rainbow? But if you mix all? Light colors. light colors, like bright colors, mm -hmm. not dark. Do you get but red, light black, or do you get black, white, or a rainbow? Write it down quickly. Black. Reveal. I have a C. Rainbow. We is it have black? The correct answer is white. Huh? Oh, oh, you, what oh, technically, oh, adding all colors of light together is called color addition. Uh, uh, it's the second views. question, is a white gold ring pure gold, yes or no? Is a white gold ring pure yes. gold? No. Is a white yes gold pure no. gold? No. It is. Is a white gold no. ring pure gold? Yes oh, no, or it no? isn't. Reveal. Riza. You get a team with a point. Yeah. 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 Number three, what is the symbol for silver? Is it AG or is it RC? Write it down. Silver, is it AG or RC? I got to answer. Five, four, three, two, reveal. You guys failed. The correct um, answer physics. is AG. Ah! Number four, what does ATP stand for? Is it A, adenosine trophine, B, the molecule that is used for energy, B or C, A or B? Sorry. Wait, I have a question. Yeah, ATP, again. right? Yes. ATP. Let's, can you give us the options again? What it no. stands for? Ah, uh, Lama. And you? What is it? Riza, you score your team another point. Oh, yeah, Riza. 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 You know what? I just don't, I can't. I can't deal with all of that. Uh, this is when you keep quiet and okay, let me read No, no reread these things. We can't hear. Okay, cool. And um, what is the strongest known magnet in the universe? It is it A, a neutron star, B, the sun. What is the strongest magnet in the, the universe? Sun. A, the sun. Or B? the sun. The sun. The sun. The sun. A the sun. Magnet. The sun. When I consult me, A neutron star, not the sun. So B. A. Uh. <laughs> Which is the hottest planet in the solar system? Is it A, Result. Venus, what? B, Satan? The hottest. Venus or Satan? Yes. Saturn. Saturn. No, it's Venus. Write it down. Is it A or is it B? It's it's Reveal it's in four, three, two, it's one. It's B. The question. It's that will give you the correct answer would be Venus. Yes. How far is the moon away from the Earth? Is it A, 376,600 kilometers away, or is it 402,600 meters away? It's A. It's A1. A or B, reveal. The correct answer is B. Yes! What? No, what is the opposite of meta? Is it A, antimeta, B, antometa? A, antimeta, B, antometa. In three, matter. two, one. What's your answer? B. B. We're making B. B. All of you are wrong. Huh? It's antimeta. Do you have the no, same these do, you, do no. you have the same number of neck vertebrate as a giraffe? Yes or no? No. Do you have the same I'm number serious. of neck vertebrate yes. as a giraffe? Wait, yes no. or no? The correct answer is yes. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. But a giraffe has a longer neck than exactly. us. That doesn't make sense. Longer. That's what you said. 
the operative word is longer, not more. Ah, uh, makes sense. Okay, um, I think this will be my last question because you guys are struggling. If you keep <laughs> walking in a straight line on a flat surface with no visible features, is it possible to walk in circles eventually? If you walk, if you keep oh, walking yeah, okay. in a straight line on a flat surface with no visible feature, is it possible to walk in circles eventually? Yeah. Write it down. Is it yes or no? Reveal in three, two, one. The correct answer is... Yes. Yes, we got one. <laughs> we got one. I got one. And I obviously we won. Hashtag... Um, it was never time. meant to be. Um, if they say don't call us, we'll call you. Um, that one comes from Star Kathy. And then the other one, um, the last tweet for the day, comes from Royalty Monarch. Hashtag it was never meant to be a friendship if your success makes their mood swings trigger. Right now, it's time for us to get a little bit more comfortable with Uawonge because he's been gone for so long yes, yes. and we want to find out what yeah. have won. Where has he been? Welcome back to channel 263. Oh my God, it feels like I never left. Where have yeah. I been, guys? Where have I been? Yeah. Where did I go? Uh, uh, baby, baby, in the city of the gold. Uh, city of the gold. They're making my dreams come true. That's where I've been, Johannesburg. What we need, Johannesburg? Literally just that, making my dreams come true and honing my craft, being a better version of myself. Stay away from the places, please, eh? From <laughs> I actually want to ask you, because a lot of people romanticize Joburg. How has it been for you? I'm so glad you're asking me that. I literally tell everyone at campus that Johannesburg is not what you think it is. Serious? Yes. yes, it is a city of gold. Every like opportunities are mostly there, especially in terms of media. Mm. Yeah. But it is not what it seems. I cannot emphasize that enough. Opportunities don't just fall on your lap. You have to work hard. There are thousand people that are just as ambitious as you, mm. as you, and, and some even mm. more. So you need to always think of what makes you stand out? What is that one th thing that you can bottle and sell about yourself? Mm. Speaking of being in campus, you recently graduated. Yes. And congratulations, the celebrations. Yeah. How was that experience for you? Oh, graduation, I, can I say the day before, because I graduated on the Tuesday. Mm. I was like, I can't do this. I don't <laughs> want to go to my graduation ceremony. I was too stressed. So first things first, graduation, the process, the journey to graduation is mm. extremely stressful. Yeah. But um, when I eventually just let go and I was like, you know what, I've worked and waited for this moment for years. It was amazing. I was overwhelmed. I, I, I couldn't really exp express how I felt, but it was a beautiful moment for me. One of the best days of my life. So you and I just make like just now. So exactly, yeah, 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 you know. <laughs> so what exactly did you study? You know, you're going to go into this field now afterwards or what now? So for me, I think everyone knows I'm a all-round performer. Mm -hmm. I'm a full-on entertainer. So mm -hmm. I, I studied at UCT School of Dance. Okay. I majored in ballet and contemporary dance. Okay. But I have theatre background yeah. and I also act and I just I, I present. Love it. All of I those love things, it. man. Yeah. And we want to know from you, you do all of those things. You're all-rounded, like he says. All-rounded on country. We're selling in just till by the way. Wow, well, Riza, <laughs> the shade hasn't what? stopped. <laughs> Never. <laughs> what, what, what actually kept you, you motivated and kept you going and saying, look, um, even though I'm going to a city where there's thousands of people who is as ambitious as you are, what actually just kept you motivated and kept you going? I think one of the most important things when you are in a new phase in your life, a new journey, is to always remember the why, always. Yeah. We all have our why, so with me, I had to just always constantly connect and think back and date back, why did you move to Joburg? Yes. What it is? What is it exactly that you want to achieve? Yeah. What do you want to do with this thing? Mm. So know your why and and just keep it keep it going, keep it moving, because challenges are going to be there. Exactly. Keep yeah. it moving, keep it flowing like the water. water. I want to know um, where you from here. Ooh, okay, so we're not even into the first half of the year, but there's so many things I want to do. Mm. Acting is okay. one of the things I always wanted to do this year because I'm not doing school so I have time for that yeah. um, and dancing I want to get back to dancing I'm working on that I've been doing okay. dance classes yeah. um, and then presenting is also a thing we're, going, we're going on a commercial mainstream <laughs> channel very soon okay. hallelujah. hallelujah and as, you, as everybody also knows that I'm dropping for you man <laughs> <laughs> can you can you mention which show no, no not allowed no. unfortunately no. we ain't care about that but yeah look I'm, I'm happy for you 
for you. Thank yes. you. And as you all know, yeah. I love dressing up and, and looking good. So I'm looking into having my own collection of yeah. oh, shades. Oh, oh, shades. Right. Hey. 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 Use me. I want a model. Thank you. You know. Yeah. Got you. Got Coach you. Your feature. <laughs> so now, do you have any? Um, well, maybe it might be a little bit too late now because it's been three months already. But yeah. advice for the new presenters who just joined Cape Town TV. Exenio, Macy, Exenio. Ooh, um, work hard and work smart. Also, most importantly, work smart. Like, know why you you here in the workplace and give it your all. 110 every every day, every day, every day with the mm. live show. You must just slay yeah. and do your best. Because, you know, mm. now, can I say something? Something like inspirational. You know, looking at Riza and Lama and even at Sia. And, no, and no, no, no. Yeah, no, 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 yeah. no. We're gonna mm. mention your name now. And everyone else, they are like a little bit of inspiration. They, they, I take a little bit from them, and I try to, you know, put that in myself. But obviously, as Amy, you know. And that's yeah, all you and can that's do. All that I wanna, is yes, all you can do. Because there'll never be another Amy. Exactly. exactly. But this one is a legend. Yes. And seeing that you're a legend, I want to know from you two moments: mm -hmm. worst and favorite moment on TV, right here in the Mother City. Ooh, favorite has to be when I okay I wasn't officially announced but everyone knew that worked yeah. here when I got in at CTV yeah because we all know I first got rejected when I auditioned yeah. uh, for CTV <laughs> and I only made it when I guest presented like a couple of times so for me that was at the moment where I was like yes. I finally did the yeah. thing yes. and then the worst I don't know if I have a worst moment when you lost TV. him in the lip sync battle <laughs> what what are you doing <laughs> <Sass>. <laughs> Okay, Riza, <laughs> let's break this down. I'll give it to you. Oh, thank you, man. That was probably my worst moment. Really? I don't oh. like losing. No. And I lost to you. I doubt that. Mm. I doubt that. Mm. I, oh, 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 sorry. No, a famous person once says, your biggest, fam your biggest failure is your biggest famous moment. Wait, I said that. No, no. Heinz, Addis, Heinz Christian Edison said that. Okay. Yes. I uh, so yes. I <laughs> saw you um, somewhere, dancing somewhere. Uh, you can't mention it. Uh, yeah. Which is a very big platform and a very good one at it. How was that experience? Yes, so as I've said, I'm so glad you asked me about that. I'm, I'm, I'm slowly making my way into dancing, but I can't speak much about what's happening. Yeah. But I'm dancing with someone that is an established choreographer, and he's been in the game, so he knows what it takes. So yeah. uh, yeah. Can you stop it? Whoa. Uh, I've been in the game. tell you. We will tell you soon, but like, all I can say <laughs> is I'm learning, I'm learning a lot about like, the different genres in dancing because like what I'm doing that side in Joburg is not the type of dancing Ooh, I studied at school. Okay. So I am just putting my feet in there, I'm going all in, I'm struggling at times but I gotta yeah, So are you I'm mashing like everything up there and you just hold it? Together. Uh, yes. Who are you dancing with? No, she can't mention. You can't say it now. Mention. Mention. You're gonna whisper later. Uh, it starts with an L. Yes. Um, yes, it starts with an L. Okay, next question. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Oh, yeah. OMG. Please come visit us again. This is my home, girl. What do you mean? This is where I started. I was serious because you must part of the furniture. Hi. Girl. Exactly. I, I just want to say, look, um, bright future uh, to you. A very open love and light, blessings, talent, friends. blessings, and many, many more. With a pure heart, you are going to do Great. I received okay. that. Thank you yes. so, so much. Yes, you can yeah, always follow us on Twitter. It's XA underscore live on Facebook. It's XA on Cape Town TV. Right now, it's time for us to take on to Prince KB with this nice song while he tells us who is he dancing with. Let's check this out. 